As you can see, I have a corgi sitting here on my lap. And today, we're going to learn a bit about the history and the characteristics of the breed. Now, for starters, the word corgi is actually Welsh for dwarf dog, which explains why they have such short legs. And the need for these short legs, as well as their historically and character characteristically docked tails, is that the corgi is bred as a herding dog for cattle. And another unique thing about the corgi is that corgis as we know them are actually two separate and distinct breeds. While this one is the more popular Pembroke Welsh Corgi, there is also a slightly lesser known, not as popular variety called the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. While the Pembroke is the breed that most people know, either as part of the Queen's Dogs, as Queen Elizabeth II has had more than 30 of them in her lifetime, or from the popular anime called Cowboy Bebop, where one of the eponymous characters is a corgi named Ein. Some of the distinct differences between the breeds are the cardigan's larger size and height. With the Pembroke, like this one here, the female variety gets no bigger than about 25 pounds, while the male Pembroke is only about 30. While cardigans, on the other hand, the males can be nearly up to 40 pounds, and the females probably about 35. Another of this few differences you can tell are the colorations, while most Pembrokes, like this one, are the characteristic red color, it's occasionally a black and tan variety. The uh, cardigan variety can be any sort of different colors. This is partially due to the theories of where they, where the two separate breeds have came from. While the Pembroke variety is theorized to have been brought over by the Flemish, which is another word for the Dutch, about 900 AD or so, the cardigan variety was theorized to have been brought over to England by the Vikings around the same time, and over the course of over a thousand years, the two separate breeds intermingled, and that's why they have somewhat of the same appearance, yet generally different characteristics. Hopefully, in conclusion, we've learned a little bit about the Corgi today, and hopefully have a nice day.